Today is the day I'm finally doing my most requested video. I've actually wanted to film this video for a long time, but I've just been accumulating all of my different tips and tricks that I've used over the years and use now because I wanted this video to be absolutely perfect. Also, make sure you watch until the end of this video because I have a very exciting giveaway announcement. If you've clicked on this video because you want to start your own curly hair journey, I am so happy for you. You will not regret it. It took me a long time before I even understood how beautiful my natural curls could be, so I totally understand if this is something you've been procrastinating for a long time. My main reasons for avoiding going natural for the longest time is because one, I believed that my hair would be impossible to maintain. Another thing was I actually thought my natural hair was ugly, which I cannot believe I ever thought for a second, but I genuinely thought my hair was ugly. I also never had a curl cut or a haircut that really flattered my curly hair, so I always felt like my hair kind of looked like a triangle. I will be talking a little bit about haircuts in today's video, so I won't go too into depth, but getting a curl cut was seriously one of the best things I ever did for my hair. That doesn't really play into the whole reason why I hated my curly hair, but I just felt like my hair would never grow. It always just kind of felt like my hair was always the same length and it never went past like shoulder length. But I totally busted that myth by trying a new complete routine and just taking care of my hair how it should be taken care of. And then my hair started to grow really fast. Now listen, I would not list problems that I do not have a solution for. At least not in today's video. I feel like everybody kind of has different starting points in their curly hair journey. Some people start with already healthy hair, they just don't know how to style it. And some people like me, when they started their hair was completely dead and they basically had to restart. I've got lots of different photo examples, so let me show you exhibit A. As you can see, my ends were not curling at all. That was one sign where I was like, okay, I have to change something or else the rest of my hair is just gonna end up being straight and then I'm gonna have curly roots. I also straightened my hair so often and it was so dead that even when I straightened my hair, you could still see how dead it was. So that was another sign that I was like, okay, I can't even straighten my hair for it to look good. <sighs> Bless you. I feel like a lot of people think the first step in starting your curly hair journey is changing up the products, but the actual first step is discovering what type of hair you actually have. I guess I'm pretty popular. And I totally would try to re-say that sentence without that ding, but I actually know I probably wouldn't be able to get through it again. <laughs> so ignore that, just know that I'm pretty cool. So like I was saying, discovering your actual hair type is the first step because then you can actually get products that will work for your hair type. This is a curl chart. This is what you're gonna be referring to to see what type of curls you have. Now there are so many different curl charts out there so it's kind of up for debate and a little bit of interpretation. And there's a lot of people that will tell me I'm not 3C hair but I think I totally am. So just pick whatever you feel like you're closest to and go off of that. And then you're also gonna wanna be doing the low porosity, high porosity, no porosity. Is it even no porosity? Let me look that up. <laughs> If you're someone that feels like your hair kind of repels water, you are low porosity and that is me. I am very low porosity hair. My hair just floats on the cup of water and it also never wants to be wet and it takes me a while in the shower to fully saturate my hair with water. If you're high porosity, then your hair will completely sink. It gets wet very easily and it stays wet. Once you've got that it's literally 8, but my brain is functioning like it's 1 a.m. <laughs> I can't with myself right now. Look at this chart. You're gonna wanna do one of these tests. It's also gonna help you decide what products you wanna use. I'm losing it over here. So yeah, do this test, figure out your hair porosity, and then also figure out your curl type. Knowing, knowing, Knowing knowing those two things are knowing those two things are just gonna help you understand your curls better. Now, in order to take your curls from this to this, you're gonna have to make a lot of changes that may be a little bit difficult at first. Obviously, you're gonna go at your journey at your own type of speed, but I personally immediately made these changes because I wanted to see the results as quick as possible. This was personally one of the hardest things for me to do, and that was no more sleek hairstyles. Slaying hairstyles like these, I had to not do them anymore because I was causing too much breakage around the perimeter of my hair. <gasps> And breathe, girl. Hmm. <laughs> It was either like I had my hair straight or I had it in a sleek bun. There was no in between. Now, of course, a lack of a sleek bun may be impossible for some people. For me, I had to do them some days. And even though majority of the time I had my hair out or in some type of looser hairstyle, I still did sleek buns from time to time, but I did not use hair gel. I used aloe vera gel. And I know that sounds crazy because it does not have a lot of hold, but seriously, aloe vera, this specific tub, this is the one I had, and I still have, by the way, is something that will actually make your hair feel softer. And I know that sounds crazy because I feel like a lot of people sleep on aloe vera gel but it will seriously make your hair feel so soft it will grow your hair at the same time and on top of that it's a great alternative to a really intense hair gel that basically touched base on my other tip which is no hair gel I just talked about it I'm not gonna talk about it again but you guys get it because I stopped using hair gel I started to introduce curl creams more often and while recently I've been sleeping on curl creams a little bit because I do love a hair gel moment using a curl cream while your hair is damaged it's just gonna add extra moisture versus a gel can't add as much moisture as like a cream based product can. In my opinion, scientifically, I have no clue, but in my opinion, girl, that's what I mean. I'm just a girl with curly hair. <laughs> 
personally, I only need to wash my hair about once a week. So this introduces doing weekly hair masks. So every single time I hopped in the shower and I did my whole wash day routine, I added a hair mask into that routine. I literally did a hair mask every single week. I didn't always use the same hair mask. Sometimes I switched it up based on what I felt like my hair needed at the time. Okay, curl gone rogue. Now for some people, your hair might just not grow as fast, but a lot of the time it's breakage. Now there are definitely hair types out there that just don't grow as fast. And before I knew about this, I genuinely just thought that my hair could not grow past my shoulders, but no, my hair was just breaking and catching up to my last haircut every single time it grew. Obviously color treating your hair, which I used to do, and using a lot of heat on your hair, which I used to do, and also sleek hairstyles, which I used to do, are all gonna make your hair more likely to break. So once you start doing hair mask weekly and cutting out those other things, you'll start to notice your hair is growing a little bit faster. Now I have tried so many different hair masks, but these are my top five that I've ever tried. These hair masks are really just my tried and true hair mask. I love them. I recommend them to everybody. I feel like they're good for most hair types and they're just really phenomenal products. And all of these hair masks, I literally notice a difference after one wash, which is incredible and also very needed if you're feeling a little bit discouraged with your hair. Now, a little hair mask hack for you is actually to buy small sizes before you buy the big sizes to see which hair mask actually works the best for you. I used to always go to Sally's or beauty supply stores to buy the little hair mask packets and they look like this and they're usually pretty cheap and I would literally just buy a handful of these and try them all out over the course of like a month or a few months and then I would just go back and repurchase whatever ones I feel like made the biggest difference to my hair. That's just kind of a great way to try before you buy and you also just might end up deciding to always pick the small packets over getting a big tub. I feel like something that scares everybody about a curly hair journey is the big chop because <gasps> I know it scared me. <laughs> I think a lot of people think that you have to basically cut all your hair off in order to start your curly hair journey but guess what? I'm here to tell you I didn't do that, my sister didn't do that, neither of us did it and we managed to still get the results that we wanted so let me walk you through how to go about getting a haircut when you're starting your curly hair journey if you're not scared of a big chop sure do a big chop but I was personally scared of it because I wanted long hair so what I did was get little trims every single time I went to the hairdresser now at some point in your hair journey you're gonna have to cut your hair that is true of course if you have the straight hair pieces and then you have curly roots you might want to cut those off but it makes sense that you're holding on to them because that's probably where all your length is but you totally don't have to cut all of your hair off just to start this journey, okay? So don't worry. Obviously, like I said, you cannot avoid a haircut for forever, but you can tackle it in little bits. So you can go in the first time and get an inch. Maybe next time you're ready to get two inches off. It depends on personal preference. Now, personally, when I went from having no curl cut to a curl cut, that obviously made a huge difference in my hair routine. And then this was really the moment where I was like, <gasps> I love having curly hair. So obviously I'm gonna recommend getting a curl cut because I feel like that just gave me that shape that I've been craving my whole life. But curl cuts are very expensive, so it makes sense if not everybody is gonna go for that option. You can obviously cut your hair yourself, which is a little bit risky. I've done it before, it's risky, okay? And my sister actually just cut her hair tonight. And you can of course also go to a regular hairstylist that doesn't specialize in curly hair, but still knows how to cut hair. But if I'm being so real and honest, I would highly recommend saving up and getting a curl cut at least to build that base and then you can touch up your curl cut as much as you want personally or when you go into your regular salon they can kind of just continue that same shape that the original curl specialist built for you. Believe it or not getting a curl cut was actually not my first step in my curl journey. I actually grew my hair from this length to this length without getting a curl cut. All I did was go see a regular hairdresser for some trims. Since we're on the topic of haircuts I do want to make sure that I absolutely emphasize the fact that you're gonna want to cut your split ends. Even if you're just hacking away at it a little bit at a time it's really necessary. Because rewinding back to my earlier point, as your hair breaks and splits, it's just going to keep feeling like your hair is never actually growing. And that's the last thing you want on this journey, right? Moving on to another immediate change that I made in my curly hair routine that actually made a difference in how fast my hair was growing is scalp oiling. Now there are tons of regular hair oils that you can use that don't necessarily stimulate hair growth. But if you want to see your hair grow as fast as possible, I would recommend introducing a rosemary oil to your hair routine. Doing a scalp treatment once a week may not work for everybody's schedule. So I would try to aim to do it bi-weekly. So twice a month just because your hair is growing from your scalp so think of it like a flower if you do not water the base that flower is never gonna grow now to point out the obvious your hair is gonna grow whether you use oils or not but the oil can make your hair grow faster and if you're looking for length or you're just trying to get rid of all that dead so you're trying to grow it out try incorporating a hair oil into your routine so now that you're styling with cream products you're oiling your scalp you're doing hair masks your hair might get a lot of buildup and people with curly hair are usually prone to buildup because we're always slapping so many different things on our hair that's where clarifying and detoxifying shampoos come into the mix and 
why they're so important for your curly hair routine. These are not shampoos that you're using on a daily basis. This will completely strip your hair and make your hair feel super dry. These are the type of shampoos, in my opinion, that you kind of use when you feel like you need it. Now, I know that may seem scary because if your hair's already dry, you're like, why am I gonna try and strip it even more? But this is completely necessary for all of your important products to be able to saturate your hair. All of those amazing products won't even be able to make a difference on your hair if your hair has so much buildup, the product can't even actually penetrate your hair. These are my top two favorite clarifying shampoos, but if you're not wanting to buy a specific detoxifying shampoo and you only want to have one shampoo in your shower, just make sure on those clarifying days you're shampooing your hair at least twice to make sure you get all that buildup out. So once you start incorporating all of those different things to your curly hair routine, you're going to notice some change. Some people, like myself, will only go from this to this and your curl type isn't going to completely change, but my sister, she went from having extremely damaged hair to hair that did curl but it was big ringlets to hair that's almost the same texture as mine which she never had before. But that's the power of having the right curly hair routine for your hair type. I don't want to make this video too too long so I'll save all of my in-depth product reviews and product favorites for another video but I'll quickly run through some special mentions that I feel like you might want to try if you're starting your curly hair journey. A personal favorite of me and my sisters is this Fab Me leave-in treatment from Design Me. We're literally convinced that it's the cure to dead hair. Anytime we were doing any type of protective hairstyle we would always spray that into each strand as we braided it or twisted it and then we always noticed our hair just looked so much better afterwards. Another product I want to highlight is the Hello Hydration Conditioner which I usually bought from Walmart. It's literally like a liter if you get the big one. So buying that huge bottle of conditioner that actually made a difference in my hair and was cheap was like, oh, it was everything to me. I literally used that product for everything. I would style my hair with it. I'd use it as a detangler. It was my conditioner. It was everything in one. I love that product. I cannot hype it up enough. My final product recommendation for today's video is going to be the Tangle Teaser Hairbrush. This is the best hairbrush I've ever tried. It detangles my hair like literally nothing else, and it's just my favorite hairbrush. What I especially love about that hairbrush is it doesn't have the balls on the end, so I never find that it catches my hair and just rips it out. And when I used to just go and buy regular hairbrushes because I didn't really know what hairbrush to use for my curly hair, I just felt like it never made detangling my hair easier, but the Tangle Teaser actually makes a huge difference in how easy it is to detangle your hair. Hence the name Tangle Teaser, okay? They named it pretty well. Now I'm very excited to announce that I'm going to be starting this year off with a giveaway. I'm going to be giving away two hair routines to two different people trying to start their curly hair journey. You're probably wondering, how do I win a complete routine for free? Now let me tell you the rules. First, you're going to go ahead and follow me on Instagram because that's where I'm going to be able to talk to you about your hair so I can actually curate a routine for you. You're going to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Duh, if you're not already subscribed, subscribe anyways. The last step is that you're gonna comment down below and let me know what stage you're at in your curly hair journey. Also in that same comment, you're gonna let me know that you finished the steps for the giveaway and also leave your Instagram handle so I can find your account easier. Let me know what videos you wanna see next or if you want a curly hair journey part two. If you feel like there are more tips that you want, let me know cause I'll make another video. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Your love and support means literally the world to me. And don't forget that once I hit a million on TikTok, which I'm very, very close right now, I will be getting a tattoo that one of you guys have designed for me so submit your designs over on my Instagram DMs and uh, I don't know what else to say I love you guys so much you're amazing and I just mm.